Hey, how's it going, Tina? Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video that I made for you. Um, this video is going to give you an understanding of your position on Google and on the internet as a whole. All right. Um, so as you can see, we're on one of my business pages. Uh, my company's Amp Local. Um, we do web design services, SEO, uh, pay-per-click management, and lead generation. Okay. So I'm going to get into all those things uh, eventually here. Um, but I just want to jump straight into the video. Okay. So as we can see, we're on your website here. Um, so you watched uh, a sample analysis that I shot you over. Um, that gives you a basic understanding of what I do. Uh, but of course, obviously this video is going to be specific to your business um, and uh, better explain to you how SEO fits into, into what you're offering. Um, really, if you have a website, you need SEO. It's literally like wheels and fuel for a vehicle, but you know, for your website. So um, I'm going to say present some of the same information you might have heard, but I just want to make sure that we cover all the bases so it makes sense. Okay. So you already kind of know 82% of the population are on Google. When they need a product or service in their area, they're going to go to Google um, and they're going to type in, you know, whatever they're looking for. So say if they needed a lawyer, they would type in lawyer San Diego or lawyers in San Diego or attorneys in San Diego. Okay, if they needed their carpet clean, they would type in carpet cleaning San Diego, limousine service San Diego, um, real estate San Diego. It doesn't matter, right? Um, so this is how people acquire information. Um, it's not going anywhere. This is very powerful. Uh, it, it's here to stay. So um, to find your business, we would have to type in something to the effect of lawyers in San Diego, all right? So before we get into that, I kind of have some pages here that we're going to go across. There's quite a few. So I just want to start from left to right. So your company is based in La Jolla. Okay, that's where your headquarters is. Um, and then if we go back to your website, if I scroll down a little bit, you, you already know. Um, your uh, address is right here, based out of La Jolla. Okay, so I just wanted to kind of show you, you know, the population of La Jolla, you might already know it's under 50,000. Okay, it's about 42,000. So you're really trying to target San Diego as a whole, right? Um, so I want to show you uh, the difference between part targeting between the two cities, okay? So in La Jolla, I typed in attorneys in La Jolla, okay? Just to kind of show you, that's the keyword res research that we're going to use to find you um, in La Jolla. And I found you ranked number 47 right here, okay? So this is page 5 of Google, ranked number 47, all right? Um, right here, San Diego population is around one, it's a, probably about 1.4 million as a whole right now, the city of San Diego. All right, so to find you, let's see, we put in lawyers in San Diego. Um, I actually didn't even find you here until page 17, okay? So this is page 17, rank 167. All right, so if you're not on the very first page of Google, you might as well be on page 20, okay, um, which you actually almost are, uh, to be frank. So Lawyers in San Diego, page 17, 162 right here. Um, let's see, this one. So another keyword that we use, attorneys, San Diego, some, some basic searches, natural searches that people are going to use to find you, okay. So attorneys in San Diego, you were actually ranked uh, page, what's this, page, page 5, rank number 50 okay so a little bit better um, but let me show you the difference between lawyer and attorney okay so lawyer on using my Google keyword planner here um, lawyer is for February is getting 3.5 in the country 3.5 million um, local major cities is getting about 165,000 so that's that is huge for you and your business you know how much of that pie are you taking is what, what I want you to start thinking about um, and in attorneys, it's much lower. Okay, we're still getting 2.5, uh, you know, somewhere around there nationally, but for it's much lower for the monthly average, 14,000. Okay, for attorneys, versus 165,000. So that's over 10 times the amount. Okay. So next, I want to talk to you about. Um, so your your law practice it offers you know multiple. Uh, types of um, services. All right. So in your law practice here, you talk about business formation, business law, business litigation. I don't want to get into it. Uh, you kind of already know what I'm talking about here. All right. So 
all of these are keywords, okay? But the thing is, um, whenever someone needs something like what you're what you're given, if they need a lawyer or an, or an attorney, they're gonna there's most likely commonly going to punch that into Google just by showing you the keyword uh, planner. Okay. So I just picked business formation. All right. For San Diego. So if we go over to the keyword planner, um, I typed in a uh, business formation lawyer. Okay. So 50 searches a month. So that's very average is 50. So that's very, very low. Okay. So that's very, very specific. Um, somebody's really going to um, need you and want to search for you in San Diego to find that okay versus somebody that knows they need a lawyer or an attorney they're just gonna punch that keyword search in so which one you of course you want to be at the top of all these um, but definitely um, you want to take in the fact that you know the way Google works and where key keyword research works um, you definitely want to own where most of the money's at, okay? And that's, of course, in the general searches of attorney and lawyer, kind of like what I just showed you, okay? So I did search um, business formation lawyer San Diego, um, and you did pop up as number one in maps right here, okay? And number, one, number three in the organics, okay? So that's really good. But like I said, that is a very, very specific search with a very very low search volume okay so if you really want to target the masses where all the money's at okay um, we really want to go for attorneys and lawyers or lawyer group and all those other keywords okay this is just a few example I can't I don't want to make this video you know four hours long for you I'm trying to make it in under 20 so uh, we're gonna stick to the basic keywords and then um, once we uh, once we come to an agreement um, definitely the keyword research is gonna be a route that we're gonna fully uh, investigate um, to make sure that you're popping in all the searches and of course all of these different practices you do offer like I saw, pulled up earlier uh, we do want to get you at the top of those searches because you know people are going to search specifically for that but not as often as just looking for a lawyer or looking for an attorney all right so next um, I just want to show you kind of how you are compared to your competitors right now in San Diego so right now this is you um, you're getting about 42 SEO clicks per month, okay? Um, that's pretty low compared to some of your competitors. I'm going to get to that in a minute. And over here, it looks like you're getting about a, about 700 clicks per month, but that, that is your um, pay-per-click, which is awesome. You want to definitely be investing um, into pay-per-click. You know, it really does fuel the business. Um, but obviously, you know, um, I reached out to you. You guys reached back out to me. You guys are really looking to dominate in the organic uh, rankings because really that's where um, the future security and future prosperity of your business really is going to lie versus um, investing X number of dollars a month to get business back which you do want to invest in eventually um, I'm gonna get into that in a minute alright so next this is one of your top competitors now they're into a very specific type of, uh, of practice they're into employment or labor law which I believe you guys do offer um, so this is all they do, um, and they're at the. T this is uh, David P. Strayus for San Diego. Um, so they are getting 642 clicks per month, um, and that's really due to the fact to their high ranking. So if I back it up here, let's go to the top of the search. Um, I believe they were actually attorneys, San Diego. Let's see real quick. Attorney San Diego. Yep, so he's right here, just ranked number three in the maps. I mean, number three, not even number one. Um, and he's pulling all of that. And look, here he is, number seven on the home page. Okay, and he's pulling a six, 642. And, and that's just under this major keyword of Attorney San Diego. All right, so that kind of shows you um, what you're just missing out on from just being on the first page from the maps and the organic rankings. All right. So that's one of your um, competitors. I just want to kind of com you know compare you to. I understand that he is very specific in what he offers, and you guys offer more services. Okay, you are more serviceable to the to the general public. All right. So next, uh, uh, one of the major competitors is uh, Jacob G. Sapchenik, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. All right. He is getting about 850 or so clicks a month from organic rankings, and he is also investing about six thousand dollars a month in paper clicks um, and generating 1.6 clicks from that so he's um, taken up a major part of the market as well 
So if I go back to my search engine, I'm going to type in, uh, I believe he was lawyers in San Diego. So let's say lawyers. No, I'm sorry. This is La Jolla. So lawyers, San Diego. All right. Yeah, look, he's right here at number one, okay, in that major keyword search. So you can see how much of the market he's really dominating by being one there. All right, so as soon as somebody pulls up, you know, that keyword research right there, boom, he's number one with almost five stars. Okay, so he's cleaning up. This is where we want to get you, okay? So uh, just to be clear, to bring clarity to it, you know, this is your maps. The goal is to get you ranked number one here within the top three, and this is your organic rankings, and the goal is to get you within the top three here. Definitely always shoot for number one. All right. So a lot of information. I wanted to show you where you were compared to your competitors, talk to you about keyword research, um, and then show you the populations and, and locations that, uh, of the areas that we're targeting here. So now, how do we do it? Okay. Um, so you've probably heard this before. Google has an algorithm. Okay. It has 200 determining factors. Okay. I'm not going to talk about all of them. I'm going to talk to you about uh, four of the very most important ones, okay? The very first thing I want to talk to you about is um, content, authoritative content. All right, so let me go back to your web page real quick. So when I go to your web page, what Google is looking at, it wants to see authoritative content, meaning um, does your is your page relevant to lawyers and attorneys and a, a law group firm in San Diego, okay? Okay. Um, so when I look at your page, you actually have some decent amount of content on it, okay? Um, we're probably looking at around 800 to 900 words. Uh, you do have uh, great testimonials here. Um, I can see that your page is built mobile-friendly. It's nicely laid out. Um, this over here, the contact form is great. Um, and it's when I pull up on my phone, this is what you see, okay? So people are able to leave their information instantly. So this is what hurt, what's hurting you with authoritative content. Your words and content, it really should be 1,000 up to 2,000 words on the home page, okay, of relevant material. Second, for San Diego, this is what's hurting you right here is having your main address in La Jolla, okay? I understand that's where your headquarters is at, and it's very important for um, your clients to understand that, that that's where your headquarters is at. But if you're going to compete and really dominate for San Diego, we need to get you a San Diego address on the home page. Um, more, more specifically in the footer of your home page. Okay, so down here where you have your um, your copyright, um, this is displayed on all your pages. So when you have the address down here for San Diego, it's going to make you more relevant. You do mention San Diego multiple times. You are in the searches, um, yet you know very far back in the searches. We want to get you all the way up in the very front page of the searches. Um, and I also see that you have you know multiple offices here you know, proudly serving uh, these counties, okay? Um, I'm not 100% sure if you have these offices here, if they have an address, but I do see that your headquarters is here in La Jolla, all right? And then you do have another uh, address here for Irvine, California, okay? So this is throwing off Google. This is confusing Google, okay? So we need to get you a San Diego address, okay? Whether if it's, even if it's just a UPS box, um, you know, we can set that up and get that in the footer to show relevance to Google that you are in San Diego and also your phone number, okay? You know, the area code for La Jolla is 58858, uh, I understand that, but for if you're going to be relevant and want to dominate the searches for San Diego like your competitors, you have to have a 619 number on the website. Okay, that's two things that's hurting you right there, including the content. We can always build more content with more relative information. Um, just real quick about the content, you saw me have elephants here. Uh, you probably saw this already. You know, I typed in elephant on Google. Wikipedia is always number one because of the authoritative content. I mean, I could scroll for days. They elaborate about elephants, their habitat, where they come from, all that good stuff. So this is what this is like 50,000 words, but we want to have um, at least 1,000, 2,000 words. Okay, so that's content, and I'll talk to you about the address and phone numbers. All right, next, citations. We also call these business listings, right? So um, there is... 50 of the most popular ones in the country. There's thousands of these things. Every city and every niche that you go into, there are specific ones for that area that you want to be de definitely be listed in. Um, so for when you do these things, you have to have your business name, address, and phone number identical. Okay. 
So I looked you up. Um, I did do a scan and your citations are very good, but you're only listed. You do have information that's accurate, but you're only listed in 49. Okay. So I did a search here. This is you right here. Um, you have 49 citations. Your major competitor, um, Jacob J. Sapchenik, is has 122. And I just want to point out that this guy does immigration law completely different, but yet he is dominating in the basic search for lawyers in San Diego. Okay. So that, I just want you to understand that. That that we're not we're not going to um, I'm not really talking to you. I understand that you do different services, um, different types of law, but we're focusing on the way Google ranks lawyers in San Diego because it's the most common one that you're going to get hit. Let that let that client you know decide if you can service them. You know at least get them to your website and click from the first page. Okay, so I just want to point that out real quick and uh, nail that down so we're in understanding for that. So he has 127 citations versus you 49 total so twice as many so here's the beautiful thing okay i'm able to search these businesses and figure out exactly what citations they have um like i said there's thousands of these things you have to put your accurate information um and they all have to be done you know uh relevant to your location they all every city has a, a popular set that you need to be listed in so I pretty much, the reason why I'm so successful in what I do is because I reverse engineer the competitors. So when I go to his page, I can see all of the citations he's listed in. So we're going to be able to get you listed in all these. This, These are directly responsible for your map listings, okay? That's how we're going to get you ranked at the top of the of the maps right here, okay, is the, is the citations, the business listings, okay? So here's all of his. Um, and then I have all of yours right here, your 49, okay? So all of your information is in there pretty accurately. We just need to get you listed in a lot more, okay? And over time we will. We actually wanna get you listed in up in four and even 500 of these um, to maintain. You, you wanna consistently maintain SEO for the lifespan of your, of your website. So citation building is something you wanna do definitely on the monthly basis as long as you own your website to stay competitive. Competitive in uh, internet marketing today. So next, I want to talk to you about um, backlinks. All right. So, say you have a client; they're thoroughly impressed. You know, you won the case. Uh, you guys were awesome. You rock. Say they have a website or they're a blogger. Or they read articles. What they'll do is they'll actually write an article um, and then post that website. Um, po sorry, post that uh, that article on the internet and link your website on that website. So anyone reading an article can click the link and go directly to your website. This is awesome because now you have a new prospect that in case they need any kind of um, a lawyer firm with uh, services they need to be represented, uh, represented um, you'll have a new prospect. But most importantly, Google sees this as a vote, okay? So Google is a big popularity contest. The more votes you have, the more chances you'll have to win, just like running for president, right? So these domains are super important okay so you're looking at all these numbers i just want to show you so um two numbers real quick referencing domains and external black back, uh, backlinks okay so this is saying there's 10 websites on the internet right now that's mentioning your website 55 times okay so this trust flow of 17 is the quality of these referencing domains all right and the citation flow of 30 it's saying, hey, how often is this stuff happening? Okay, so 30 means it's happening kind of often, not too often, all right? Um, but this is most important, this trust flow right here and these domains. So let me show you this real quick. You've probably seen this in another video. So this is measuring the quality of those domains. So at a 17, you are meeting medium quality but not high quality, okay? So... Let me show you what your competitor is doing. So this is the Jacob J. Stapdenich, which I'm probably not pronouncing correctly. Um, his trust flow is 39, okay? So that's huge. He's got 79 websites out there. I mentioned them 5,300 times and a trust flow of 39, okay? So that's pretty much saying that he has very reliable, trustworthy um, sources out there on the Internet, okay? So... What the beauty about what I can do for you is I actually purchase these high quality domains and I write articles. They can be about anything. They're always they're very professional, legitimate. I can write I write articles about, you know, the Air Force and how they 
refuel their C-130s or, um, you know, a ROTC group a competition or, um, you know, save the whales. It could be anything. Um, as long as we link your website to show Google the relevance and to show Google the popularity that you have on the Internet, okay? And all of the ones that I have are actually 25, 30 plus, okay? So they're super very high quality, um, and uh, they definitely get the job done. So over time, you will have... Uh, you know, hundred. we want to have hundreds of these and, of course, thousands of these, okay? As long as the trust flow is above 25 and 30, um, you're going to be able to outrank them. And this is these are probably the most important thing about SEO. Um, this is what really gets you ranked high in the, um, in the organics right here, okay? This will get you number one, number two, and number three are these backlinks, okay? So that's backlinks. Let me uh, move on from there. All right, and the fourth thing I want to talk to you about is being mobile friendly. So 60% of people are walking around. They're actually, when they're looking for a product or service, they're going to use their phone. It's just a, it's a Google statistic. Um, so it's important to look great on a phone. Like I mentioned earlier, website is mobile friendly. It's a, got a nice design. So um, I, use, I use my tool here to figure that out. I just wanted to show you because it is one thing that Google takes very serious. All right. So after doing your analysis, um, I've determined you know the the citations and the 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 back links, the you know the high quality domains. That is really the 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 key thing that's um, affecting you right now. And of course, your address, your phone number, and then the authoritative content. Um, just to recap, so that those are the things that we're going to work on. That I want to work on with you uh, to get you ranked up. So. Um, you know, while I have you here, I don't normally do this, but I have a couple case studies I just want to throw in here real quick. Um, let's see. So this is one of my clients. Um, he owns a car dealership. Maybe you heard of him, San Diego Auto Connection. Okay. So for keyword research, um, San Diego Auto Dealer, that is one of them. Um, before I took them on, you couldn't even see them on the first page at all. They were like page three, page four. All right. So... Um, their reviews, they had maybe 24 reviews and they were a three star. So now they're ranked number one on maps. They're a four star business with Google reviews and then here they're number one organically. Um, so I mean, their, their clicks have literally more than doubled um, since I took them on. So they're doing phenomenal. I mean, what's another one? Uh, I think Auto Dealership san diego is another one that's they're high up there on so just to kind of show you look this is a totally different keyword um yet they're still number one there and look they're well it's still number two right here so doing very well um another one uh i also do lead generation i can talk to you about that while i'm here but this is a website that i built that's generating leads for a limo party bus company downtown so limo bus escondido ranked number one right here um you know, it's uh, in number two right here. So they're pulling uh, tons of leads a month. You know, they do $1,000 jobs, however you. And uh, let's see, I got their calls right here. How many calls? I, I track all the calls from my website that I built from them. So they got, within just over five weeks, they got like over 207 calls. Um, that doesn't include emails. Uh, I don't even, let's see what, oh, look, it logged me out. Um, so the emails are, you know, I think I've sent them at least 100. So in just over five weeks, about 300 leads. So that is the analysis. So while I have you here also, I just want to show you um, my services. So I emailed this to you. You can look this over in detail whenever we meet. We can go in more depth. But I want to give you um, a little brief while I have you here and you're watching the video. Um, so... The SEO marketing services, um, to do what needs to be done to get your website ranked on the top of the searches for, is pretty much local SEO. Okay, that's what it is. Um, my service fee is $1,200 a month. All right, you get all the backlinks and the influence. Um, you get the citations written. You get them at a lower volume, if you would. If you want this thing to really move really quick, um, and of course, I do space out my work over the months so Google doesn't think anything going, is going on, if you know what I mean. Um, this is a very delicate process that you have to go through. Um, it does take some uh, management and attention to detail, a lot of it. You know? So um, if you want this thing to move really quick, I do have an SEO Elite um, that's copyrighted uh, for AMP Local. Um, 
it's four thousand dollars a month we pretty much do twice as many citations and influence and I also get you uh, Google reviews and Yelp, Yelp reviews as well we do we'll do ten each a month um, you're probably wondering how do I do that um, I have a group of professionals that do what I do across the country um, and we network within each other and we kind of give each other reviews so I don't know if you're opposed to that but for Google relevance it's definitely um, an option if you're interested in it okay because it, all it's going to show is Google that you you know you're relevant you're popular you're getting reviews so I do offer that service um, I also do offer um, the AdWords and Facebook clicks um, just to uh, advertise um, at an, a little bit of increased rate it's not a huge amount but I do include it in there and then also do pretty much with this package package I'll do full uh, management of your current website and your current internet marketing and uh, social media as well with that package too so that's the four thousand dollars a month the twelve hundred month it's gonna get the ball rolling um, but if you wanted to really move quick fast efficiently and effectively um, I do offer it my SEO elite okay so that's for the SEO so you guys did um, inquire about pay-per-click with Google AdWords so I do have that built in my into my contract offering okay so for a service of the size and magnitude of a law firm as yourself um, you guys if you you would be looking at about five thousand dollars per month okay so what you're gonna get with that is you're gonna get at the minimum one thousand clicks from the Google AdWord campaign so I optimize them and target them per city for three major keywords okay so the three major keywords could be lawyers attorneys uh, law firm okay in San Diego okay and we'll run this thing for a month uh, or a month in and month out um, and then uh, so it's Google it's proven by Google Analytics and statistics that two to five percent will close it's a guarantee all right so if you're closing let me just pull up my calculator here let's just say of the thousand clicks um, you close uh, uh, three percent okay so that's actually 33 clients all right so you have 33 new clients so say if you close their case and they're a ten thousand dollar profit each you know I'm just making throwing out numbers here just to give you an idea so I mean that's three hundred and thirty thousand dollar profit per month you know I understand some cases take months even years um, but if you fill up your pipeline like crazy and you got these things that you're closing months down the road that's gonna make you those profit then it's definitely worth um, the investment so you know 330,000 minus the 5,000 you know obviously it's you know about $330,000 profit or so um, if you guys went with 3,000 clicks per month um, obviously that would give you 99 so 99 times the 10,000 you know you're looking at about a million bucks minus the 15 K you know for the campaign and the management and labor fees you're still looking at about 975,000 I mean so it, the, the the profit um, the ROI it's it's ridiculous on what you guys can make on this um, you do have to know what you're doing with Google AdWords um, so uh, def definitely you know know what you're getting yourself into pick the right guy obviously um, I am the guy I know that um, so if if you guys are interested in the Google AdWords I do offer that um, management so the other thing I wanted to show you while I'm here is retargeting so you guys may have heard about this retargeting you know it's not like a secret um, but if you haven't um, pretty much so whoever lands on your website and doesn't close or like leave a contact form or calls or anything like that um, if they leave the website what happens is my system will cop will pretty much copy their IP address and anywhere they go on the internet a billboard or an ad from your business will pop up on their screen and that this is powerful so only like it's the same thing only two to five percent are gonna close or call uh, when they hit your page so to bring that 95 to 98 percent back we use retargeting we copy their IP address and we have I'll design ads from your business to pretty much bring the funnel them back into your business to get a deal done okay so this is a very very effective um, service so if we're driving you know a thousand people to your website and we're only closing you know about 30 or so we want to bring that other 970 back 
over the course of the next couple of weeks to, to get a deal, right? Why, why should they go anywhere else? We need to close them with you guys, okay? So for a um, business size and the amount of attention you guys are getting, y'all are under 25,000 visitors a month, okay? So for a monthly service charge for that is going to be 5,500 bucks, all right? So that's retargeting, all right? Um, so on your website, I did notice that you have contact forms. Um, let me just pull that up real quick. You already know what I'm talking about. So right here, you know, your number is clickable, all right? And right here you have contact forms. You have this contact form on every page. This is very effective, all right? This, this allows, you know, a prospect to input their information. You guys have a lead now, all right? So here's the thing. Every two hours that goes by, you actually decrease your chances of closing a client by 10, okay? Um, it's been, uh, Google research shows that, uh, all, it takes roughly two days for a sales rep to contact uh, a new lead. I'm not saying you guys are doing that. I'm just saying that's the research. It takes up to two days, up to 48 hours, okay? And every two hours that goes by, you, you dramatically lose your chance to close that client. So I have a program that actually, um, let me get back to it. I have a call system that converts that form request into an instant phone call to you guys. So as soon as you guys receive uh, the email, it goes directly into a phone call to your call center, to your sales rep. They answer, it'll say, press one to be connected with your new lead. They'll press one and they'll automatically call that new prospect back. And then they'll be able to you know, figure out what type of uh, law services they need, okay? So this is, this is very powerful, L literally zero time uh, to get the client on the phone, to get a deal done, to get in for a consultation or, or what have you, okay? So I do offer that service. So maintenance fees, training, um, and setup fees, um, it's, if you have one to 49 uh, sales reps in your call center, it's 1,000, um, and then so on and so forth, 50 to 99 is 2,000 a month. Okay, so this is all monthly based. So I do offer a variety of options for you guys. I did mention lead generation. Um, so these sites, I showed you one of my lead generation sites that I have for my party bus limo guys. Um, if you, uh, I pretty much build these websites and have them ranked in Google for different cities. So if you wanted to fully, fully dominate like all of San Diego and North County, we would build you literally a website in every single city, Chula Vista, Escondido, Vista, Bonita, um, La Jolla, which you have one in La Jolla. Um, you know, San Marcos, uh, Carlsbad, Oceanside, all of the big cities, Coronado, and they'll all be optimized and targeted for that one city. So you'll dominate all the searches in that one city. Okay, so this is pretty much cornering the entire market um, for your, your niche, which is uh, law services, okay, or lawyers and attorneys in San Diego. But it would be for those people in those cities, they would search lawyers or attorneys in, you know, Escondido, Chula Vista, Coronado. So it'll be those keywords, and there you guys would be at the forefront of the of the Google searches. So I do offer lead generation. This is very unique. It's different. Um, I guarantee you no one else you talk to in SEO is going to be offering this. Um, so this is very new, unique. Nobody's doing this. So I build. Each site will cost you 1600 to build. Um, and I rank them with, uh, start fully optimizing them with local SEO from the start, target them for one city with the Google keyword research. Um, obviously I'm going to be managing them daily. Um, so with these, there's actually, um, a revenue share. Okay. Cause pretty much you, uh, if you understand what I'm doing for you guys is literally I'm funneling you clients. I'm bringing you business. Okay. So when I pretty much, when I look at doing business with any client, it's a partnership. Okay. Um, you know, I'm bringing you guys business. You guys make X, X number of dollars. All right, you guys are happy. You know, here's my cut. That's kind of how it works. Um, so with these lead gen sites, there is a revenue share um, for it. So for a, uh, a business of your magnitude and, and the deals that you guys work, um, it would be you're looking at around, you know, it's greater than 5,000 uh, at least. I don't know, with some case, cases you might close, uh, you know, around 500 I don't know I'm not 100% sure what you guys close but um, so 5,000 I think is fair to put you guys I'll just put you guys in that category for now we can consult later all right so it'll be $9,500 a month 
um, for each website that's ranked um, on the first page. Okay, or you can do option B, which is 3K per month and then $100 per lead. So every time someone calls or emails the website, okay. So very powerful technique here. Um, I, you know, I highly recommend you guys uh, inquire with me about it. Um, definitely can get you site if you're if you guys are looking to really corner the entire market for San Diego. I mean, there's 14 different, 15 different cities. Um, I understand that could be a huge investment, but how how far are you guys willing to expand? Um, like I'm I'm working with a guy right now in LA. He he sells uh, solar panels. All right, he's got a website in San Diego, and he wants to provide for LA, South Bay, um, pretty much all all of Los Angeles, uh, uh, Riverside, East Lake. Um, there, there's he, he, the whole list of them. So he is very interested in really dominating core in the market for, for those. So big option for you guys. Um, suggest you, uh, you know, just look into it. And then, of course, uh, I'll talk to you about um, the PPC. So just to hit everything home that we kind of talked about, um, you know, you're, we really, really want to get you dominated in all these searches. So the ads you know, 20, 30% of people actually bypass that, but still that is 20 to 30% of the clicks for each time someone searches for that keyword. Okay. So you can be up here. Um, the maps are the local and, uh, SEO elite is going to get you there really quick. And then the organic rankings. Okay. And, um, I showed you this in my other video. I have so many things open right now. Um, I showed you this in my other video. So this is what it looks like for the maps and the organic ranking. All right, number one gets almost 35% of all the clicks. All right, so if you combine organic and maps, that's literally 70% of all the clicks. Imagine being in ads as well. So that's almost 100% of all the clicks. So that's how you fully dominate the whole search. And then being uh, highly ranked in each city, you know, with lead generation, that's another way to fully corner the market, all right? Retargeting, bringing everybody back that doesn't close the first time, okay? All of these services that I offer you guys really, really, really can dominate, and you guys can really expand tremendously with the services I give you guys. So um, I'm going in pretty, in pretty good depth with you guys while I have this video made. Um, I appreciate your patience. Um, I am looking forward to talk, talking about it more and more in depth. Um, when we, we meet, but pretty much in a nutshell, probably a little bit more of a nutshell, this is what I do. Um, so again, I appreciate the time, uh, Tina, that you took out to watch this and uh, your other partners and affiliates. Thank you for watching the video. Um, I look forward to meeting with you guys and, and talking about SEO and some of the uh, internet marketing services I do offer. But um, again, thanks for your time and uh, I look forward to uh, meeting with you guys. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day.